So here's everything that I'm gonna eat for the next 24 hours. Hey, what's going on? My name is Ryan Johnson. And for the last two years, I have been doing intermittent fasting. In today's video, I'm gonna show you exactly what it looks like when I do one meal a day. I'm gonna take you through everything that I've eaten and why I chose the foods that I did. So when I'm doing one meal a day, I always like to break my fast uh, with a small snack. So today I had a Fairlife protein shake. Um, I did that before I started cooking. So really I've had this about 30 minutes ago. Um, then I cooked all my food. I always like to break my fast with a little snack, also something that's high in protein. And today I did a protein shake. So for my main meal today, um, or really the only thing that I'm going to be eating today is I'm having a little bit of each of the different kinds of nutrients, fats, proteins, carbs. That's one of the things that I think about when I'm doing one meal a day is trying to make sure that I fit in enough nutrients to get me through to the next day. So this is the only thing I'm gonna eat. It's about uh, noon now. I'm going to eat this. I'm gonna go to work later. I'm working a closing shift tonight. So this is the only thing I'm gonna eat for the next 24 hours. So I'm starting off with, I have a 16 ounce a New York strip. I did that in the sous vide. Uh, now a sous vide is a water bath. So the thing that I like about it is this strip I actually seasoned and vacuum sealed a few weeks ago, put it in the freezer and I was able to take it out of the freezer, put it in the sous vide and it takes a few hours, but it stays at the perfect temperature. So me, I like my steak uh, medium rare to rare and it cooks it at the perfect temperature. So I'm able to put it in the water bath. It's just going to cook until I'm ready to bring it out and get a nice sear on it and get ready to eat it. So I cooked the steak and the sous vide. Along with that, I have uh, two eggs scrambled. Uh, I sauteed those and scrambled those in the pan with a little bit of butter. And once they were just about done, I added about three ounces of cheddar cheese to those. And then for leftovers, I'm having, we had some jambalaya earlier this week, so I'm having what's left over that jambalaya. That's going to be my uh, carb for this meal. And then we had some leftover broccoli that I reheated uh, that I'm gonna eat that. That's gonna be kind of, you know, my vegetables, my fiber. And then for my fats, I've got um, an avocado that I'm gonna eat. So I'm getting a little bit of fat from the cheese with the eggs and the butter. Um, and then I'm getting my main fat from the, uh, from the avocado. So I'm getting protein from a few different sources, both the protein shake, the steak, the eggs, a little bit in the cheese, and then in the jambalaya, you know, there's different meats in there. There's sausages, shrimp, chicken in the jambalaya. I'm getting my carbs from the rice and the broccoli, and then I'm getting my fats um, from the avocado. And then I salt all that uh, pretty heavily. Uh, you know, I kind of listen to my body on that. I feel like I do better when I when my salt intake is a little higher, it helps me kind of get through my fast and I don't experience any of those headaches that some people experience when they do uh, intermittent fasting. But this is a typical meal for me when doing one meal a day. Now I don't always do one meal a day. I kind of listen to my body. I'll do it probably once to twice a week. But if you want to see everything that I've been eating, um, there was a period of six months where I filmed everything that I've eaten. And I'm going to leave that playlist on the screen now. Be sure to check that out. And I'll catch you in the next video.